Hi, fishy folks. Welcome to Michael's Fish Room. Before we get started talking about Chewy and how fantastic he and his cock looks, do me a favor if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Gently caress the notification bell. And when we're done here, check out michaelsfishroom.com for all your fancy guppy and pleco needs. All right, Water Change Wednesday today, we'll be talking about Chewy, my Super Red Dragon flower horn that for the last two weeks, I've only fed this Excalibur food. This Excalibur food is from Tiger Wallace up in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, Tyler was the creator of uh, Fish Freaks Plus food. <coughs> Excuse me, and that company uh, it's no longer around, but Excalibur certainly is. Look at Chewy. He is spectacular. Anyway, sorry. Just getting amazed at how cool Chewy looks. So I dropped some Excalibur in the tank, and I started filming, and you can see Chewy is eating. He loves it. Uh, certainly his color has darkened up a little bit. His cock has grown immensely since feeding the Excalibur food. And uh, I'm quite happy with the food and the way Chewy is growing and looking so far. Now, I did paint the back of the tank blue at the recommendation of some other flower horn keepers. I had the blue in stock, so it cost me nothing. I do not have a uh, heater in this tank, however. I do have a heater for the tank, I just haven't put it in yet. I kind of wanted to see how Chewy would grow uh, and color up and uh, how big his cot got. Just using Excalibur food and no heater. So I may add a heater. I will be actually putting a heater in the fish room. Um, I just ordered it today on Amazon, actually. That's a whole nother subject, but uh, I may be adding a heater to see how he how he changes and, and acts. He's, he seems like he's acting fine pretty much and he's growing real nice. So uh, I don't know if it's worth it right now to put a heater in here, but we'll see. Anyway, Chewy, my super red dragon flower horn, is doing fantastic, and his cock has grown, and he's colored up really nice on this Excalibur food. You could go to ExcaliburFH.com to order your own. Um, let's add some more. Oh, he's a little skittish today. It's weird. Like, usually I, I add food, and he's all rah, like me when it comes to tacos and stuff, but yeah, he's a little skittish to the camera, I guess. Um, also, just a Japanese box filter and a standard old box filter, and he likes snails. I do drop some snails in there because he does eat them. You can see some leftover food from this morning. That's the uh, six mil uh, krill from Northfin. He's not a big fan of that. So uh, I'll be vacuuming up his tank, but as usual, I really didn't do anything to anyone's tank before I filmed because I like to keep it real. You can see there's a lot of algae on the glass. Uh, there's a lot of algae on the overflow. I did clean this glass, the front glass, so you know you could see him better, but that's it. Uh, I also have this food that Julie Tran sent me, Endless Red. Uh, I'll start to feed that, and uh, you know, he'll get bloodworms and brine shrimp and you know, some, some other stuff. Um, Tyler sent me some other food, which I'm also gonna be adding in. But uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it because it looks like it's special packaging, maybe uh, pre-pro food. So that's it for talking about Chewy and his ginormous cock. Quite excited. Hashtag the real Frank. Hope you guys uh, think he's exciting as I am. He's stunning. Uh, and now I am going to feed my Oscars some food from Cobalt. I got some Cobalt food when I was at the Keystone Clash. Uh, the Cobalt Rep and I talked for quite a while. Thank you to Lisa and Martin from Super Sick Goods for introducing me. And, uh, you know, he said, here, try these foods. And uh, I told him the story. If you give me the foods and I try them and I film it, I'm going to be honest. If my fish don't eat it, I'm going to show that. So he said, no, they'll love it. So here we go. We're going to feed some foods. I have the uh, Ultra Pellet, Predator Ultra Pellet which I talked about a while back, but just to remind you, 44% uh, protein, 4% moisture, so that's pretty good. The ingredients, if it would focus, of course it's not focusing so I can't see, so I'm gonna show you Chewy while I read the ingredients. 
prawns, dried spirulina, algae, dried kelp, dried seaweed, whole corn, jumbo squid meal, whole anchovy. So, so pretty good ingredients. And uh, now let's drop some in Chewy's tank. I'm not sure he's gonna eat it because uh, he just ate some Excalibur. So he might not be hungry. But let's see. Oh, it's got pro prebiotics in it. And of course, garlic. Yeah, he's scared. I'm gonna drop some in uh, Han and Leia's tank. I don't know, uh, if you're new to the channel, obviously I'm a Star Wars fan. I have a son named Luke too. Anyway, Han destroyed some of them sticks. Let me show you, they're, they're like little sticks. Like this. So, uh, Han grabbed one real quick. He's getting another one right now. No, he missed it. Hmm. They're just floating there. The female Leia, I think she's a female because she's smaller, um, kind of hides in the cave the whole time. Like forever. Hmm, we're not really eating this food. That's kind of interesting. Live feeding, not a live feeding, but feeding food live, not scripted. Also looks like there are some remnants of uh, the krill the six mil krill on the bottom of this tank too. That's interesting. <coughs> what I do is I also put some krill in my grinder uh, and give it to guppies and stuff, but these guys aren't eating. They're more interested in uh, boom, chicka, boom, boom. Yeah, interesting. Well, <coughs> I'm gonna drop some in a guppy tank and see if the guppies like this food. See if they eat it. Nope. Oh, some fryer picking at it. That's good. Where do I have big... Oh, I'll put it in. I got some ginormous females in this tank. Let's see if they eat it. I'll put some down there, too. Put some down there. Put some in here. Um, a real nice male red cobra in there, too. Um, yeah. We're not going crazy over this food, I gotta be honest. I'm a little surprised. Let's see if Han and Leia, nope, still floating there. So, uh, kind of interesting. Chewy, also, not eating it. Well, that's, that's disappointing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this ginormous thing of food. Look how big his cock is. Woo! All right, well they also sent me this shrimp and veggie pellet. And this shrimp and veggie pellet, 41% protein, also 4% moisture, prawns, dried spirulina algae, jumbo squid, Dried kelp, dried seaweed, sweet potato leaves, jinga shrimp, whole garlic. Oh my god, I love the whole garlic. I don't know if I can open this thing one-handed. He just spit it out, which sometimes happens, I guess. So this thing is sealed. Let's open it. Let's see if we get that new opening sound. All right, well, that works. Stuff stinks, the fish should like it. I'm gonna drop some in some Plico tanks. That's why I got it, because it sinks. And uh, we're gonna feed it to some Plecos, so. Of course, they're not gonna come out because it's light out, but it sinks. Um, so these sticks, the Predator sticks, these guppies, these glass belly guppies are really going after. So that's good. Hopefully when they soften up, they'll devour them, but Oh, Chewy, I mean, a uh, hand just grabbed one too, as it sank. And these guys are not really eating it either. Nothing down there. So, all right, fishy folks. Well, well, one of my uh, green dragon plecos immediately went over to the food, so that's good. <coughs> Same thing with my albino juveniles. That's good. We're gonna drop some up in the uh, lemon blue eye tank. There's a ton of pleco fry in there. 
and juveniles. Oh, looks like we had more babies because that's a different size. Look how small that one is compared to big brother over there. Let me see if I can see more. That could just be a, a runt. Yeah, maybe just a runt. I mean, there's a small one over there too, but. I love this tank. I did drop some assassin snails in here. Thanks, Mikey, for sending them to me. Uh, Mile High Plecos. He breeds some nice Plecos that I've, uh, I've been buying some of his Plecos for my stock breeding stock and selling stock so he's got some nice stuff there's a big one but uh, I dropped some in here and these guys are already going to town so that's good so I'm gonna go one for two on the food from cobalt right now well two for three because I love absolutely love this guppy pellet ultra pellet guppy and uh, if you buy any fish for me, I give you samples of that. Actually, I have six samples to give. Samples for Pluckos and samples for Guppies. So if you buy Guppies and Pluckos, you're gonna get six samples from michaelsfishroom.com. All right, fishy folks, that's it. michaelsfishroom.com. There's Chewy and his ginormous cock. Looks so great. Hope everyone has a great day. michaelsfishroom.com. See ya. What I do is uh, I also put the krill on my grinder, so all my, uh, is that puberty? Woo. Chewy, my super red dragon flower horn, super red dragon flower horn, that's easy to say. Some fries are picking at it, fries, nice English.